my colorful nerds, my name is Neko, my pronouns are they, them. I am going to be playing Our Life, a dating simulator, and today I'm being joined with my partner. Hi, I'm Elio, I use he, him pronouns. And my friend. I'm Wyatt, and I use he, him as well. Um, and Cove is my wife, I've married him and forced him to take my last name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, Wyatt knows everything about this game. Elio knows a little bit, from my understanding. And I yeah. know nothing. I, I Elio's told me that you uh, you get a lot of customization options in the game, and that there's parts yes. to it, so it'll be easier to break up. Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna hope that's the the case or something. <clears throat> yes. Don't worry, it is absolutely the case. Awesome, awesome. Welcome to our life, beginning and always. There are various ways you can customize and interact with the game. This tutorial is an overview of how certain features work. You can read the full tutorial from the main menu to learn everything in detail. Yep. Here we go. Oh, yay! <laughs> Great! Gonna go with the rotund face, and I'm fucking white as shit, so we'll go with that. Right. Yeah, my favorite thing is to look at the downright vampiric skin tone and be like, who's picking this? Pale. <laughs> uh, vampires, obviously. Yeah, duh. <laughs> vampires play this game Sorry. too, Wyatt. <laughs> no, they don't, because um, it'd be kind of weird. <laughs> it's it's all set in summer, and you're going out in the sun. I, I don't know. Well, maybe they want to fantasize about being able to do that. Man, if I didn't have to go in the sun, I wouldn't, so I don't know why they would want to. <laughs> Every vampire is just like me, by the way. Why are you confirming that you're a vampire? Uh, no, I'm just saying that every vampire that exists is exactly like I am. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're all bisexual and polyamorous, and uh, definitely unhinged. That just happens when you live for that long. True. Oh! Yeah. Oh wow. And these are just your bangs. You also get to do the back of your hair too. Sick. So if you want long hair. Okay. I think you skipped over blue. Did I? Oh no, there's, yeah, one, so there's one there. Oh there yeah. Yeah. I was just making I sure that there's no other options for the two tones, because typically I think more you know, you've seen my character before. Shaved bald! <laughs> this is this is the one that I was gonna pick, but it's not two tones, so I guess I'll go with the the two toned ones that are back here. With the blue. Hell yeah. These are so cute. Okay. Yeah. Forever on customization. I love forever on customization! <laughs> I spent so long- I mean, long... yeah, that's where I spend most of my time. Yeah. <laughs> well, I play like, this game a lot, but- so I already know what I choose usually, but in most games, when it gives me customization, I'm sitting here like, I gotta go through every option and then decide over multiple days. Pretty much. I- like, I have like a- I have a problem with it when it comes to customization. I just- I love it so much. This looks like as close as I'm gonna get to it. Yeah, probably. Okay, so... I want to transgender my character, so we're gonna start with one, and then we'll go with, uh... To <laughs> <laughs> be fair, that's just uh, as normal of a name as Cove is, so... Yeah, yeah. True. Also, oh, I don't, I don't know if, he know, if they know uh, about the parental situation. This is gonna be great. Oh no, oh, there's yeah. a parental situation? In a good way. Oh, it's not bad. Oh, it's okay. really good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad. Alright, uh, oh my god, there's three pages of character customization? The rest of it isn't as, uh, deep or difficult, don't worry. Oh, okay. I see. Alright, well I don't have any facial birthmarks. I do have... Yes! Quite yeah, literally same. Give me all the freckles and this. I like to give my character scars sometimes, but uh, since we're making my persona, we'll just go with that. 
And and you're eight years old right now, so. I'm eight. Yeah, yeah. you're tiny. Oh, baby. It, it, it starts when you're eight, so. We'll go with. I think. I had like square glasses when I was younger. Did I think I showed you guys? I think I showed someone that when I was cleaning my room, I found my old pair of. I found the old pair of my my glasses. They were blue on the inside and black on the outside, and they fit in my hand. Like they stretched all the way across my hand. They were so small I couldn't put them <laughs> on my head. <laughs> yeah, but you can make it. You can make a really sick hand puppet now. <laughs> Gotta make a sock puppet that wears, uh... Okay, so... I do actually have a birthmark on my leg, though. That's nuts. I have one on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't have scars. Give me all the freckles. <laughs> I am such a freckly man. God, just, same. Just it's pants. <laughs> just pants. Do you not wear shirts? Do not. No. <laughs> no shirt. <laughs> Shirtless. Oh, man. That just reminds me of when I went to fucking Willwood with uh, John and <laughs> getting merch, and I chose a shirt. And the guy was like, "Okay, so what size do you want?" And I stood there, completely dumbfounded, and I was just like, "Sorry, I don't usually wear clothes because I panicked." And he was just like, "You don't." or clothes, and I was just sitting there like, okay, well, this is the hole I dug, so I guess I sit in it now, and I just, yeah. <laughs> and then Johnny just pushes me out of the way gently, and he's just like, he he, he, he should probably have a medium. <laughs> <laughs> that is oh. so funny. Fuck. <laughs> and, like, I, I think about it constantly, because, first of all, what did I mean by that? <laughs> um, second of all, do you... Do you think he thinks about me? Do you think the merch guy thinks about me? I hope so. I hope he lays in bed at night going, Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh god, wait, we're going right into it. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah. Summer in Sunset Bird was a special time of year. Your usually sleepy town began to bustle. It was a popular tourist destination with people coming from all over to enjoy the beach, the weather, and the relaxation that came with both. The smell of the ocean, crisp and salty, hung in the air, bringing three whole months of schoolless vacation with it. You want to know something funny about this? Yes. And it's, and it's totally okay. I, I can I can super ignore it, and especially if like we don't have an instance of it. Uh, terrified of the ocean. I forgot about that. <laughs> don't worry. Um, John also is scared of the ocean. And swimming as a whole. I, we went swimming this uh, during summer in the lake uh, with Bryson. Mm -hmm. And it was all fine and dandy. And then John suddenly felt something with his foot and had a panic attack. Oh my god. <laughs> but it's really funny because he was like, honestly, I forgot I was scared of water. Um, <laughs> and, then, and then it happened to me all at once. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. For those that clearly he's okay. For those that don't know, <laughs> Wizard is my, is my friend who plays, hive who plays Hive Swap with me. So that's... <laughs> During the summer, your moms didn't like you to wander too far- your... Huh? <laughs> huh? This is the parental situation we were talking what? about. Hello? You your have moms, good moms. You didn't- you, yeah. you, uh, Your moms, your moms didn't are like you to wander too far outside your neighborhood and say you knew the area pretty well. That included the people. Families came and went from Sunset Bird, but they mostly stayed and did what your mom called putting down roots. They built businesses, they got to know each other, and they definitely said hello to the nice young kids who waved when passing their stores. Going for a walk around town mostly meant that the, fam the familiar, friendly residents waved or asked how your family was, or most often just said hello. In oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, it's your, it's your first choice. How, how you feel? How do you feel about this? Well... Hello, anxiety, my old friend. <laughs> yeah. They still smiled at you anyway, and that made you feel a little bit more comfortable. But today, there was a man sitting on the curb outside your house. I, for I forgot how immediate this was. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, the music changed. 
He was sitting with his head in his hands, his whole body slumped over, and you wonder if he was even a real person or a statue they had magically sprung up from the ground overnight. Whoever, or whatever he was, you had never seen him before. One thing about knowing everyone in Sunset Bird was that people who you didn't recognize really, really stood out. It was rare for tourists to venture into the residential district, as your moms called it. So for you, not knowing who a total stranger was set off a lot of red flags! Your moms had a talk with you and your big sister Lizzie about this kind of situation before. They hadn't exactly been listening at the time, you think you- Oh, you had- Ah. Uh. <laughs> ah. It's okay to run away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that you don't have to worry about being polite then. That's Because, like, I read that, and, like, even though it's something I knew logically, like, it really hit me. I was like, oh, shit, you're right. I don't have to be polite if I'm running away. <laughs> if I abscond, then it doesn't matter what I say to them. I won't be talking like, to I, them. Like, I have anxiety, so me going, I don't have to be polite if I don't want to be here. If it sucks, hit the bricks. That's amazing. I, so... So, so I guess uh, I never I was never told to run away from good people from, from random people, but I definitely was like warned about it. So I guess I'll go with that one. Yeah. You weren't sure about this man yet. Oh my goodness! Choices out the wazoo. <laughs> yeah. Still, you felt a bit. They're very important for making you who you are. I see. I see. You were pretty interested. You wanted to know more about what was going on. You didn't want to be bothered. <laughs> uh, yeah, it also is- it's weird that he's, like, outside my door. Yeah. Because when there's people outside- like, in- Currently, right now, our house is under construction. So, like, when there's people mm -hmm. outside the door, it usually means that they're here to, like, drop off something for my mom's cup business or they're like working on the roof, or they need to come inside to take a look at the flooring. Um, so, so there's been a lot of strange people in front of our house recently. So, I guess this is kind of relatable. <laughs> uh, you slowed down, your mind racing for ideas on how to get past him unseen, but it was too late to escape. There was a split second where your eyes met him and you took in a shaky breath, your eyes darting to the sky, pretending to stare at a bird who was hovering nearby. Hey! <laughs> His voice startled you and made you jump, but you still didn't look at him. The bird landed on top of a nearby gatepost, and its black feathers ruffled against the gentle breeze. Trying to keep your eyes on it was tough, especially when the man stood up and started to make its way towards you. <laughs> oh, me! Stranger danger. <laughs> Literally fucking Great smarts. I literally fucking can't. Hello? <laughs> hey, shoddy. Hey, shoddy. <laughs> you would look better with a man bun, personal opinion. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no I don't worry. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> Do you live You're also right. You, you live right here? What's your name? You looked the maid up and down, taking in his tan skin and relaxed appearance. At least his clothes were relaxed. The way he was acting wasn't. He had sharks in his shorts and a stingray tattoo, and you wondered if he was obsessed with the ocean or something. While you made your assessment, he looked at you expectantly, waiting for you to answer his question. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that is... Man, the green options are, like, really driving the anxiety home, huh? Yeah. I feel like we're missing an option here, where we tell him our name, but not where we live. <laughs> Just saying. Remember, you're eight years old. I know. You're gonna put the important information of, hey, you're in my in front of my house right now, before anything else. <laughs> For real, I guess. Uh, alright. I'm eight years old, so... I live here! Here's my name. Great, nice to meet you, Neko. He gave you a broad smile, briefly setting, uh, settling on his face. What? Money. I love this so much. You don't understand. What is happening? This is ringing so <laughs> many so alarm bells. Funny. 
He reached into his pocket and pulled out a clean $20 bill. It crinkled in his hand as he held it up to you. Even more confused than before, you looked back at him. Well, could you do me a favor? Nothing bad. Sorry, I should have... Let me start over. <clears throat> From where you were standing, it just made him look creepier. <laughs> I have a son. His name is Cove, who's about your age. Cove! <laughs> that seemed like a strange name for an actual living person to you. You cheat on the other the one named Nico. the person named Nico. Says the person named Nico. Yeah. <laughs> you cheat. <laughs> Nico chan! <laughs> You chewed on the inside of your cheek. This guy was definitely obsessed with water. You thought that was pretty cool. Well, you have a son? That's sick as hell, dude. <laughs> you get wow, you have a you have a you have a son? That's so that's so wild because I took you for a total creep who couldn't get anyone. <laughs> no, don't worry. He's not a creep. He's just a freak. Oh, oh that's not better. No, oh. no, 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 no. In the same way, I'm a freak. Where is he? Just like. Kind of a bimbo, but he's really silly about it, so it's fine. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Uh, you chewed on the inside of your cheek. Yeah, this guy's definitely obsessed with water. He wasn't the only person that uh, liked that in Sunset Bird. We moved in across the street, see? He gestured toward the house that had been empty for a year, his watch catching the late afternoon sunlight and reflecting off the walls. The gigantic for sale sign was finally gone. This is such a stupid- I should have picked a better name. My bad. <laughs> you must be It's really entertaining, though. <laughs> you must be Negger Rainbow, right? I met your moms earlier, and they told me you were eight, just like him, so... He shook the $20 bill to bring it back up to your attention, a hopeful <laughs> smile tilting his, lip, uh, tilting his lips at the corners. Can you try to be friends with the boy? You're gonna pay me to be friends with your son?! Yep. Yeah. That's exactly what he's gonna do. Why?! <laughs> How bad is Cove?! Cove's dad is just a bimbo. Okay. Yeah, he's just like, oh my god, if I don't get my son a friend immediately, he's gonna die or something. I don't know. I'm so scared. Apparently. <laughs> just give it a chance and you can keep this. He's a good kid. You'll like him. But you've got to keep it a secret too, okay? <laughs> it would be friendly to say his dad sent you. You kind of felt... <laughs> <laughs> Had your mom's done that for you and Lizzie? That thought made you frown. What do you say? Wanna make a deal? You took the bill. You didn't want the money. You ran away! <laughs> <laughs> you don't want the money. I don't want to be paid for that. It's too weird. He deflated enough to notice, but not completely. Are you sure? Are you sure? It won't be so bad. Even if it's just for the summer, that'd be enough. That only made this sound more strange to you. Why does it lasting for the summer matter? When it was clear his initial strategy wasn't going to fly, he took the bill back into a pocket and changed the request. I get it. You don't have to. Would you be comfortable with he and I coming by for a normal visit? No money involved? Man. Okay. Um... You'd have to ask my moms. Yeah. <laughs> hi, hi, mom. Sorry, I just let this stranger and his son like come over in a few hours, maybe. Um, oh no, he, he's already met your moms. Oh right. I didn't think about it like that. My bad. <laughs> his smile got bigger again. His eyes crinkled at the sides. Of course, they'd invite us over earlier, but I'd like to ask you too. Then I guess you can. I'll bring him tomorrow. By tomorrow, I wanted him to meet and greet with the neighbors today, but. Well, I don't know where he's gotten off to. He laughed when he said that, but with the way his face looked, you thought he actually wanted to cry. Hey, dude, you lost your fucking son. <laughs> For real, huh? If you see him, can you tell him to come home? He's got a pink ca he's got a pink cast and glasses. You can't miss it. Sure thing. This definitely wasn't <laughs> the normal way kids made friends. You knew that, but you were still going to help. The man smiled and reached out to pat you on the head, paused before doing so, then pulled his hand away instead. Your moms are already checking around for me. Such a thoughtful group you are. Now I better go look too! Can't put everyone else to work while I keep sitting here. 
I thought he might have come back and that's not what that what's important. I have to go. Thanks again, Neko. So much. Not gonna lie, I've, I've always taken the money from Cliff. Really? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't take it, because I... That sounds mean. Well, it's, oh, it's really simple. When I was eight years old, if someone held a $20 bill up to my face, I would immediately be like, oh my god, that would make me the richest person in the world. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm not think about anything else. Amazing. <laughs> You're so valid for that. I want to be one of the lesbian moms, by the way. Actually, only one of them's a lesbian. The other one's bisexual. Oh, I didn't know that. I want to be the lesbian yeah. one, then. Which one is the lesbian? Okay. <laughs> uh, the lesbian one is the white one. I don't remember what her name is. I feel bad. <laughs> the dripping of crickets of the name. tall grass greeted you, quiet and familiar. From the top of the hill, you could see the ocean. As you walked, you listened to the crash of the waves on the shore and the seagulls squawking as they settled down for the night. You've always loved the ocean. It was so much fun. You love to hear stories about the sea, but... Me, with my fear of the ocean. A click. You really couldn't understand why so many people came all the way from where they, uh, from where they really live just to visit the ocean. You took in a deep breath, you wanted to try and relax, and couldn't. You weren't sure what, but something told you that you weren't alone, so you glanced around. Oh! Hi, Grove. Uh, hi, kid! There was a boy sitting at the top of, of one hill, almost completely hidden with the tall grass and white flowers surrounding him. His head was buried in his knees, staring ahead by himself. For whatever reason, probably just that he wasn't paying attention, he hadn't noticed you yet. You watched him a minute longer, feeling a little bit like you'd found a deer in the wild. Though deer didn't have... Green hair, squinty <laughs> eyebrows, huge pink cast sad friends. Um, well, like deers could have yeah, sad Yeah, I was friends. about to say, deers have like these wide eyes that like when you look at them, it makes it look like they owe you money and they don't <laughs> want you, they don't want you to ask for not it. Sad. That's the difference. <laughs> they, they owe you money and they don't want you to ask about it. Like, I feel like they can be both terrified and sad. Yeah, but they usually don't look very sad. They kind of just look like you caught them in the middle of like watching porn. Like you walked into their room <laughs> without knocking. They're like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Pink casts. But this new boy did. You wondered how he got it. After a few more seconds, you took a step forward, then another. And then he glanced your way. His aquamarine eyes reflected off the light of the moon. You stopped, raising a hand to acknowledge him and show you weren't scary. Me! 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 <laughs> With a start, he jumped to his feet, his hands balling into fists at his side. He didn't say anything, just stared at you in a strange way. He'd been crying. There were traces of tears on his cheeks and his knees soaking the hem of his shorts, and his eyes were still shining with a few more. You obviously caught him off guard. His pink cast seemed to glow in the twilight, though when he caught you staring at it, he hid his arm behind his back. Something the man earlier had said stuck out to you. Cove. Uh, I should probably voice Cove, actually. Yeah, please, so I don't have to talk to myself? <laughs> uh. Okay, well, then I call dibs on Lizzie. We're planning this. <laughs> we got this. We got this, we got this. Eyes wide, he oh. studied you. How'd you know that? How'd oh, you know that? Fuck it. <laughs> fuck me. Don't mind. I, I'll get used to it. I met your dad. I'm all knowing. Lucky guess. Both uh, of these are. Light these player. are. <laughs> They're light player answers. Uh, I don't want- <sighs> I'm- saying I met your dad doesn't give off vibes of he told me to be your friend, right? Nah. No. Okay, cause the- cause these feel creepy to me. Like, if somebody was like, I know all, or, or lucky guess, I'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> well, then you wouldn't have liked me very much when I was a kid. <laughs> I would just say things, and people were like, where'd you hear that? And I would just stare at them and be like, oh, I know everything. <laughs> That sounds about right for you. I literally, <laughs> oh. I literally told people directly what I thought. Like, like I was way too, way too autism. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Look, I had the main character syndrome. So, is this your hill? He gestured with his uninjured arm to the patch of grass surrounding you. His face falling at the prospect. I can leave if it is. 
to get on a hill. Yep. Uh. I'm bad at choices. Uh. You're gonna have a lot of them, I'm sorry. I know, sucks. <laughs> While doing so, you also picked at a strand of lint on your leg. What a weird question to ask someone. Yo, oh. this guy's a freak! Yo. <laughs> <laughs> he sat back with a thump, resting his chin on his knees again. Curious about the strange new boy with the odd dad, you sat on a patch of grass next to him. The pure white flowers that covered this hill rocked back and forth gently as the stairs- the stairs? The, st the stars <laughs> twinkled above. The way they dotted the sky, the sky made them seem like flowers too. The night wind was cool as it traveled over the ocean and the hill, chasing away the heat from the afternoon sun. See, I could never understand the view of the ocean being all pretty, or, or like why people enjoy the ocean and getting all that sand everywhere, but I can understand stargazing. I think stargazing is so fucking cool. I wish I could do it yeah. and not live in a place where, like, the stars don't shine at all, but... Trust me, I you live have... in New York City. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys need to come down here and we will go uh, camping because, first of all, me and Jonathan have been wanting to go camping anyway. And second of all, there are places uh, in southern Utah specifically where there's, like, almost no light pollution. It is the most gorgeous shit I've ever seen. Like, those are things that have stuck with me from my own childhood, mm -hmm. even though a lot of the other things weren't great. Uh, the night- the night wind was cool as it traveled over the ocean and up the hill, chasing away the heat from the afternoon sun. Wow! Why are you here? Yeah, I was about to be like- <laughs> I love how nosy kids are, like, they really nailed that. <laughs> Why are you here? A quiet hiccup escaped Cove as soon as you asked the question. Almost like they'd never stopped, his deer started up again with a vengeance. My parents. They don't want to live together with me anymore. The tears fell fast and heavy over his flushed cheeks, sticking in his dark lashes. My mom made my dad leave and he took me with him and now we have a house here and I want to go home. The outburst took you off guard. By the time he was done wailing, Cove's chest was heaving with exhaustion. Fucking me too! Crying I probably like... should have put more passion into that, but... <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> my... It's all good, it's all good. Okay. When I, so EP. When I fucking... When I fucking... Cr when I cry, I swear to god, it is like the grossest thing ever. I do not handle crying very well. Uh, me okay. neither. He sniffled and removed his glasses, wiping at his eyes with the back of his hand before he put them back on again. I hate this place. I want my real life back. I want my mom. Can't relate, kid. I didn't. <laughs> uh. Just stop crying. <laughs> stop crying. Just be happy. God. Yeah. Don't worry. Be happy. You'll like it here. You just have to get used to it. He slipped his hands underneath his glasses and pressed his fingers against his eyelids. Cove wound himself up again for another long crying fit. Sunset Bird was a nice place to live. It had a beach, playgrounds, a good school. At least, you thought so. But from the way off in the distance, you heard your parents. Neko! Oh shit, what was this guy? It was me, I guess. Cove! Yeah. yeah. Kids, where'd you go? Cove looked at you, tears still clinging to his cheeks. Don't tell them we're here. I don't want to go back to that house. I want to go home. It will be okay. You were struck by a sudden need to reassure Cove. It's... It's not gonna all be fun, but... Isn't he your family too? Yeah, I guess. Then you can't. Then you can't. Then you can't count on him. Then <laughs> <laughs> he will never do anything for you. <laughs> then you can count on him when you really, really need him. You shot him a grin and pushed yourself to your to your feet. 
Slowly, Cove stood up with you, still looking a little reluctant. His dad's voice rang out again. Cove, can you hear me? He looked toward the sound of his dad's voice, silent, then turned away while rubbing his not bandaged arm. Sorry. Sorry, I still don't want to go. Yeah, I get it. You do? Before you could answer, you heard Cove's dad even closer than before. There you are, bud! The trio of parents appeared over the co curve of the hill. Instantly, all their eyes landed on you, and they rushed over. Holy fuck! The moms are hot! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Both of your moms are at your side in a split second, faces filled with worry. Neko, you're here after all. We had been at the park to check for Cove, and then heard what happened earlier when you met with a new neighbor. I thought you might have gone off further away. Uh... Cove didn't want to go home just yet. Mommy gave Cove a small smile, and then she turned back to you. Thank god you're both fine. Were you two having fun out here? He looked over at Cove, who was wiggling against his dad's tight hug and pushing at his arms. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Immediately jump on that train! This reminds me of that one old- the really really old vine of like, Why are you crying? Because she says she's gonna marry me! And I don't want to get married. <laughs> she's like, he's, she's like, you don't want to get married, and, the, and, she, yeah, and he's like, yeah, that's why I'm crying. I will marry you. No! <laughs> to be honest, that is that is literally what Cove is like. He would start <laughs> crying if you said that to him, like to his face. <laughs> uh, you nodded, smiling slightly. Finally letting go of his squirming, scowling son, Cove's dad turned to the three of you. Thanks very much for finding him. I really don't know this neighborhood. Good thing Neko knows this whole area so well. Absolutely. We should be getting home now. It's been a long day for us all. Say goodbye, Cove. Bye. Bye. The two of them walked off into the darkness, heading toward the neighborhood. You watched Cove's bright pink cast until it disappeared. Hmm, tell you what, we'll have a proper playdate tomorrow, okay? Uh, your new friend's dad wanted to bring him to see- Uh, bring him by to see you and Lizzie. Does that sound? Can I show him my stuff? Can I show him my <laughs> weed? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like words. You nodded, dugging your head down. Of course. Then okay. The both uh, both of your moms laughed. The sounds overlapping into a warm, familiar chorus. Mommy put your hand around your shoulder and led you towards the path. Satisfied and more than a little ready to go to bed after your long, exciting day, you followed them home. I love them so bad. By the way. This is how you feel towards Cove for the step. It can change in later steps. Do I have to choose comfort and interest? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. I'm relaxed around him, and I'm fond of him. I think. He seems. He seems like a little bit of a crybaby, but he did just go through what I think his parents are. are I think that's a divorce. So, yeah, yeah, they divorced. So they did. I'm they divorced like, really hard. Yeah, so I'm kind of like, <laughs> uh, the baby. At the breakfast table the next morning, you finished your food faster than usual. Your sister Lizzie had run out earlier to go play, but you stayed put. Oh, Lizzie's your sister? I thought Lizzie yeah, was- Yeah, she's your older sister. I totally thought that Lizzie was your friend. <laughs> yeah, no. She's your big sister and you're stuck with her forever. Amazing. Today, just like your moms had promised, Cove was coming over to hang out. 
excited to see your new friend again, Nico? Yeah, I am. How sweet. How sweet. I'm so happy he moved in. That, with that said, are you done with your breakfast? With all the expiration an eight-year-old can muster, you looked at your empty cereal <laughs> bowl, then at mom. Okay. Okay, attitude kid. We see. Good job. He should be here soon. Cleanup began, and then on cue, there was a knock. It was hesitant, like the person wasn't sure if they were in the right place. Still loud, though. We need to get a more obvious doorbell. <laughs> I know, I know. Neko, could you get it? Wiggling out of your chair without really pushing it back, you made your way to the door. Me! I do that! <laughs> <laughs> Can you rainbow stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Every time I enter one of the Sprite events around here, <laughs> literally just Hey Rainbow Family, thanks for having us. <laughs> and then I get swarmed. <laughs> Mr. Holden, as your moms have called him, and his son were here. Cove looks different in the bright lighting of your living room, and when he wasn't crying. With his dad <laughs> standing in front of him and mom and mommy behind you, you and Cove looked at each other. Pleased to see your new friend- oh fuck. <laughs> I right -click. We did that. Where'd that come from? Where'd that come from? <laughs> Not me. Pleased to see your new friend again. You smiled at Cove. He smiled back with some hesitate with some hesitation. Okay, so he's like actually friendly. Good. I was worried he yeah. was gonna be a brat. <laughs> no. I mean, he has his moments, but again, he's eight, so. Yeah. Let's go play in my room. Okay. Take care. Let us know if you need anything, you two. Have yeah. fun, kids. See you later, son. Play nice. You led him to your room, putting out your chest, puffing out your chest a little bit at the sight of your treasures. There were lots of stuffed animals, a cool bed, a window to look out. It was a great room. You hadn't had anyone to show it to in a while, but you were really proud of it. He leaned a little. He leaned in a little closer to one of your drawings on the wall. I like this. Fucking. This room is just me. I had a million stuffed animals and drawings all over my, my walls. <laughs> this game knows me too well. Literally, it's such a fucking good game. I drew that. Cool. <laughs> you smiled at him and were proud of that particular piece of art, and you were glad he noticed it. He turned around- he turned to look around the room a little more, studying the books on your desk and the pictures on the walls. Started to feel a bit nervous, he felt the atmosphere was kind of awkward, you were glad for the company, he hoped he liked your room. Uh, yeah, me? I don't- I don't like it when people just look around and do stuff. I gotta- we need a game. Cheers. Let's get some games! You wanted to say something, but didn't know what, so you let him keep looking. Then his eyes landed on the tiny box of beach things you'd collected, tucked away by your door. He took a step towards it, before hesitating and pointing at it instead. What's that? A hoard of stuff I found on the beach. Oh. Do you have any driftwood in there? Dragging the box into the middle of the room, you and Cove flopped down next to it. You gonna build a raft? <laughs> 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 Gotta sail back home. <laughs> Gotta go find my mom. BRB. Gets on the world's smallest boat and drowns. <laughs> Moana? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cove would be so obsessed with Moana. Cove would be so obsessed with Moana. I think so. Yeah, see? You gestured to a piece at the bottom, still covered with specks of sand. Neat. This is a good collection. You got the sense from the tone in the voice that he wasn't just saying it to be nice, or to be like Shiloh. He actually meant it. Oh, right, I almost forgot. Shiloh is gonna be here today. Shiloh? Lizzie's friend. Or like, her number one fan, I guess. Do I have to see him? It should be okay. I mean, he's Lizzie's friend. Not mine, but you know. Come on, check out my shells some more. I found this one under a big piece of seaweed that had washed ashore and... 
You pulled out the sh you pulled out seashell after seashell, explaining where you gotten each one and holding them up against the light. There were big ones, small ones, pink and purple and orange. Most of them you'd washed off in the bathroom sink when you brought them home, cleaning off the sand. Over the past few years, you'd learned some of their scientific names. The collection was so huge and varied that you had lots of funny stories to tell for all of them. So, don't know- I'm not smart, um, but I will, I will try my best to share the stories that come with them. Apparently fascinated, either by the stories or by the shells themselves, Cove listened uh, with what looked like the full force of his attention. Like when you almost got pinched by a hermit crab while searching for shells, and after watching him scuttle back into the ocean, you found another empty shell that was almost a twin to his home. It was a new experience to be the center of such dedicated focus. But Cove hadn't been mean to you, so you don't mind. You smiled at him every now and then while showing him your collection. Kids, come down to the living room. You could tell that the idea was making him unhappy, but Mommy wasn't giving you much of a chance to hang around. Cove hadn't been like this meeting you. You guessed it was because he thinks you found each other by accident, not that a parent made it happen. Mr. Holden must be right that telling Cove his dad was part of that would be a bad idea. Before you knew it, you'd both been escorted downstairs and deposited in the living room, ready for Shiloh's visit. The two of you sat side by side on the floor of your home's entryway. I brought the box of shells. I want to keep looking at them. Great. <laughs> Bust it open. We can keep looking while we wait for Shiloh. Cove reached in and pulled out a big orange shell. Oh. Like he hadn't spoken aloud yet, he turned towards you and held it up, his eyes shining. I think this one is the best of them. Mm. <laughs> Immediately gives it to you. <laughs> oh, you like this? You want it? You want it? You want to take it? I mean, that's what I do. It's also what I do. That's also what I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. This is gonna go in a circle. <laughs> go looked at you in surprise, his eyes going wide. Really? Really? Oh fuck. <laughs> <Kill me. laughs> sure, you like it a lot, right? Uh-huh. But I don't want to take it from you. It's okay. You got the impression he was hesitant to accept something because he didn't know you all that well. You insisted. No, it's okay for you. You pushed the shell against Cove's chest, willing him to receive the present, but Cove firmly shook his head and kept his arms tightly at his sides. It was a battle you couldn't win, at least not today. Cove was your neighbor now. Maybe you could give it to him another time. The two of you were still sitting on the floor looking through your collection of beach findings when the doorbell finally rang. Cove jumped, startled by the sound. Since the person hadn't knocked, you figured it was probably Shiloh. He knew where to look for that. Lizzie's friend? You nodded, but that didn't seem to make Cove feel better. It was already obvious that Cove didn't hide his feelings well. You could tell what he was thinking right away. This isn't a good idea. You'll be alright. He's here. We can't let it we can't tell him to leave. He's at our only door, and if you go upstairs, he'll find you. Cove glanced around the room, his eyes wide, and finally paused with his gaze locked on the back of the house. I can go out the window. Cove! <laughs> He's Eight already walking things. towards it. Scrambling to think I... of something to say, he stepped forward and then paused. Remember, if it sucks, hit the bricks. Do you want to break your other arm? Shiloh is the least scary person alive. <laughs> True, Shiloh's gonna like you. Please don't get hurt. I'll come with you. Good idea, let's go. I'll come with you. Hurry, they'll see where we're going. He glanced back at you, then nodded. The two of you made your way to the window together. It wasn't much of a distance to clamber out, but by the time you landed gently in the bushes, you looked up to see that Cove was already taking off away from the house. He was fast, but you knew you could outrun him if you had to. He was not that fast, you could outrun him if you had to. He was not that fast, but neither were you. At that speed, you weren't sure if you were good, actually. Whew. So funny thing, I... Back in middle school, I used to run around the track for, like, exercise. I don't know if everyone did that in middle school, but 
I certainly did. I mean, I, um... <laughs> okay, so, uh, since I moved all the time, I had to go to mo many, many, many schools. And so, when we were living in Oklahoma, and I was- it was middle school, because in Utah, middle school is 7th grade, but for most other places, it's 6th. Mm -hmm. And so I was in 6th grade, so I was going from elementary straight to middle, halfway through the year. <laughs> I see. And of course, you get to classes a lot more um, in middle school. Not quite to the level of high school, but definitely a lot more than elementary. So, you had to choose um, a physical class. Um, and so I just chose track and field. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, is no one told me where it was. Oh. So I never went. You never went? I never went. When I finally realized where it was, it was like across the street. It was like way too late and I couldn't just start showing up now. And so I just spent the first period in my homeroom class reading more cats. <laughs> did you not? Did you not fail that class? Did they not question I, where you were? Honestly, I have no fucking clue. That's I don't so know. Funny. That's like funny. on my report card, it would just give me like a zero, but it didn't like affect my grades as a whole. And I was just like, okay. Um, and my mom never asked me about it, and none of the teachers ever asked me about it. it everyone was just like, whatever. That's so, so <laughs> fucking insane. That's so goddamn insane to me. Yeah! Like, first of all, why- why- why was track across the street, first of all? Like, past the- the- the, the big field that was basically the quote-unquote playground. Jeez. And then you cross the street, and that was where track and field was. And nobody told me that. And- <laughs> <laughs> and no one ever decided to go, hey, buddy, uh, what, are, what are you What are you doing? So I just, ne I never went. And then I felt too embarrassed when I finally did know where it was to ever go. So I just didn't. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> That's actually, like, insane. It's, like, so stupid. Oh my yeah. god. He was not that fast, but you knew you could outrun him if you had to. Aren't these the same? Uh, uh, no. He, he was, was fast or he's not that fast. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, this is probably... He's got a cast on! And that affects his running because he's on all fours? <laughs> 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 no, I just think it, like, when I, whenever I'm injured, I usually, like, no matter where the injury is, I usually try to slow down because I'm always worried about injuring myself a second fucking time. Because I... You are like a wounded gazelle to me. <laughs> 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 like a deer in headlights. Back to the deers. Back to the deers. It's all full circle. <laughs> Go. You ran as fast as your legs would take you, grass whipping around your ankles as you did so. Cautiously, Go slowed to a halt and looked back at you. Where are you going? I don't know. Somewhere else. I just don't want to see. Nico! Oh god. <laughs> You looked back and saw Shiloh huffing down the hill after you. The backpack he clutched bouncing all around along the way. What are you doing? Can I come? He must have seen you leaving out the window and followed behind. Hi. Oh, hi. Are you Cove? Yeah. Yeah. That kid is little. He's tiny. Yeah. I'm shy. He's younger than us. I see, I see. And he's okay. your sister's number one fan? Yeah, he's obsessed with her. Oh, I see. Weird. Yep. Are we going back, or are we gonna play outside? Shiloh's eyes must mo uh, move between you and Cove, and the smile remains strong on his face. It got a tiny frown from, Cove's res in, from Cove in response. You were just grateful he hadn't asked why you had been running away. <laughs> Inside. We left the box on the floor. Right. My shells and stuff. We have to make sure they're okay. Okay! okay. Wow. This kid is cute. I love Shiloh so much. He's my special guy. He's like covered in freckles. Look at him. Yeah. yeah. He's so adorable. I love him. <laughs> I need to get the wedding DLC just for Shiloh. With Shiloh trailing behind you, you and Cove headed back towards the house. The plan for the afternoon, at least as far as you were concerned, was to sit and look at the beach things some more. You weren't really in the mood to do much of anything else, especially if Cove was having fun. Hey, 
hey, check out this scallop shell I found. Cool, right? Scallop. Scallop. It's a pretty color. <laughs> it's a pretty color, kind of like my cast. The beautiful glittering pink did look a little bit like the wrap around his arm. Pink is a nice color. Okay. <laughs> is it your favorite? Not really. What is? Maybe green. Or blue. It might be yellow. Oh, those are all cool. I guess. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to myself. <laughs> I like those colors too. Then again, so, I like all those colors. I like all colors. Okay, Mr. Really? Rainbow. Really? Mr. Rainbow. <laughs> People be like, what's your favorite color? And I have to sit here like, can I choose a palette? Sure, what's the palette? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. <laughs> the palette is, um, hold on, give me a second. It is all of them. Yeah. <laughs> Next question, please. <laughs> don't ask me to pick a favorite color. I don't have one. I have changed this because I have multiple favorite colors. <laughs> Is Elio's favorite color yellow? Y yes, I have a brand. I yeah, because yours is it's sun. Yes. <laughs> Both of them smiled. Like usual, it didn't take long for Shiloh to get fidgety. Lizzie was his favorite. Without her around, Shiloh didn't seem to know what to do with himself. And Cove wasn't like your sister. He wasn't that much like you either. Is Lizzie coming back? Don't know. Aww. Where'd she go? I think she's at the beach, probably. Is she playing at her park? Ko's eyes lit up at the mention of the park, and he looked towards you. There's a park? Yep, but it's old. Can you show me? I want to go. He started getting up before you had even answered, and Shiloh jumped up beside him in excitement. Really? You do too, right, Neko? Park is fun. It's <laughs> no! No. <laughs> no, I hate the park! I hate fun! The park is sucks. The park is pretty great. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's right at the beach, so there's lots of fun stuff to do. And lots of sand. It has a jungle gym and a bunch of swings. It, that sounds like it could be cool. So, are we going to find Lizzie? I don't know. I never really wanted to see her. I just wanted to check the park out. Adrift without any direction, Shiloh finally turned to you. Okay. He perked up. Both boys wanted to go. It was only fair. After getting permission from your moms, the three of you were ready to head out. It was a short walk to the park. Lizzie had convinced her moms that it was so short she could always be allowed to walk there by herself. When you found her, she was hanging on the jungle gym, swinging back and forth. Hey, Lizzie. Her face lit up when she saw you, her big brown eyes going wide. There go. Go, Shiloh. All oh, right, I forgot. I was like, who? What did it be, Lizzie? Hi. She dropped to the ground and landed with a soft thud in the sand, and a split second, Shiloh had abandoned you two and scrambled over to stand by her. You were used to being left out when it was just three of you, but now Cove was here. You wondered if he would leave too. Who's that? It's Cove. He's new. Hi. Oh, I remember. Hi, Cove. Welcome to my park. Nobody ever comes to play here, so this is where we get together. She gestured widely with her arms as if to present the area to the newcomer. While Lizzie continued talking, you took the chance to kick off your shoes and wriggle your toes through the warm sand. Nice, huh? In this neighborhood, I'm the one who comes up with the ideas. Ah, I see. Something tells <laughs> me I am not going to like Lizzie. <laughs> <laughs> you are? Yeah, I am. Who else can handle the job? Lizzie is the oldest. 
By a lot. My mom said you're you're Nico's age. Yeah. Yeah. Thought so. I'm still the only one in this group with double digits. What about other kids? Other kids? <laughs> there aren't any. We're the only kids around here, and Shiloh is just visiting from another place. <laughs> Not even tourists really bring their kids here. This is the land of ancients. Be careful that the oldies don't try to steal your youth. Oh. He got so sad at that. Like, what is this <laughs> smug ass face? <laughs> <laughs> For a second, it looked like he might cry again. But something in his eyes shifted, and he looked back at Lizzie. What kind of old people? Like, moms and dads or grandparents? Grandparents who don't have kids. They hate kids. Why? We haven't done anything. At least some of them don't like kids. Stop saying stuff like that. You're gonna upset him. I mean, yeah, this is true. You interjected quickly, hoping Lizzie wouldn't take things too far. Cove snippled, his forehead creased with worry. Lizzie was staring Cove down, but Cove wasn't even looking at her anymore. He didn't seem to care that she was there. He went on into his own head. Shiloh was the next one to speak, completely unaware of the situation. Um, I met Lizzie and Neko in school. You'll see tons of kids there once summer is over. I don't want to go to a new school. I don't want summer to end. Shiloh looked down at the dirt. He hasn't had much luck striking up conversations with Cove. I like summer vacation a lot, too. All the building tension in the air suddenly vanished when Izzy laughed. At Shiloh's discomfort, at how weird she thought Cove was, at something else entirely, you didn't really know. But she laughed, face scrunching up. Okay. Welcome to Sunset Bird Cove. Take a seat, put up your feet, and get used to it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you offered him a small smile at and that at least looked to reassure him some. For the rest of summer, Cove was always there. You saw him more often than Shiloh, and on some days, when she was in a bad mood or busy, you even saw him more than Lizzie. He became a staple of your everyday life the way sun and lunch and the beach were. During your first summer together, you really liked Cove. He was a fun person to play with and he seemed to like playing with you too. Of course, that was the only that was only the start of things. Yeah, now you can do a uh, moment. Oh, yeah. I see. Should we end this part here though? Or uh probably. Okay. Depends on if you want to see extra stuff with them. Oh yeah, um, and you can save and then load right here, so you can just come back and do the moments. Yeah, like, let's. You know, we can do, we can turn this into a series and just save and load it. Uh, save. Yeah, I mean, episode two could just be all the moments then. Yeah. Like our yeah. For... So that was part one of our life, uh, from the beginning to the end, or something, something. <laughs> no, it's, I think it's just beginnings and always. Beginnings oh, and always. Ah, yes, I see. Um, as I said before, I was joined with Elio and my friend Wyatt. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Press the thumbs up button. It's always helpful. Leave a comment. Tell us what you think of Cove. I think he's cute right now, but obviously he's a little kid. So, <laughs> in the next episode, we'll try to get through all the different moments, and then in the episode after that, we'll continue on with the steps. I'm assuming. Uh, yeah. So yes. So hopefully those don't take as long as this episode did. Or maybe this episode's short. I don't know. I guess I won't know until I edit it. But, oh, and take we a look at We shall see. We shall see. Take a look at the links down in the description because they contain my things like Patreon and Kofi and my Redbubble. All things to support me would help the channel out a lot and help me. Please support me. God, I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starving. If you need... If you need money, I can give you money. No! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do it myself. Anyway. I want money. Okay, I'll give you money, though, Wyatt. Yeah. <laughs> Stay colorful, <laughs> nerds. Bye!